Hello to everybody. Future Trend channel is glad to welcome all of our subscribers. And today's 14 of January 2019, as usually, we are ready to present you the technical analysis uh, providing uh, by the company Future Trend Research. Today we will cover not only ruble crosses, among them dollar ruble and euro ruble, but some other major pairs like euro dollar, cable, dollar swiss and dollar yen and one euro cross, euro swiss. Let's start as usually from dollar ruble. As you could see, uh, euro uh, ruble at the moment confirmed a further mixed closing on Friday, remaining however still below the 100 days line located at 66.95.8 and uh, inside the day with 68.10, 66.50 still the, the levels to follow. In the coming hours uh, the 55 days line is still above the 100 days one. The weekly closing was weak below the previous week's low suggesting we may have a top for this dollar, suggesting a possible move to the 200 days line located at 65.057. Indicators of the daily chart are still well negative for now, as well as those of the weekly one supporting further weakness. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead again all above the line this morning, suggesting further consolidation correction, with the 200 hours line at 67.53 the possible attraction. However, while below 67.34 on an hourly closing, we have to expect further direct weakness to a possible new target at 64.77. We stay on the sign line and follow possible updates. As regarding euro ruble, as you could see, resistances and supports 67.78.06. 76.32.75.84 Euro-Ruble confirmed a weak closing on Friday below the 100 days line at 78.88.9 and below the previous session's low, suggesting further downside risk. The weekly closing was instead positive. After a further week of consolidation, in terror of the negative outside weak reversal, only only a weekly closing next Friday above 77.71 will support higher levels. Indicators of the daily chart are however still below the line for now as well as those of the weekly one suggesting further weakness. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead all above the line this morning suggesting some short-term upside potential. However, in the hourly chart the cross is still below the 200 hours line at 77.36 and while below this line we have to expect further weakness for this cross. We wait for a possible extension of the rebound above 78 to sell the euro ruble. Now uh, let's uh, read the dollar yen which is uh, probably a most active currency pair among the majors this morning. Resistance is in the dollar yen located at 108.60.109.10 and supports at 107.50.107. Let's analyze the chart of the dollar ruble. The dollar yen, excuse me, of the dollar yen. The dollar yen confirmed a relatively strong closing on Friday above the top of the previous session. But today's move below Friday's low already aborted any positive signal. The weekly closing was instead mixed after a week of consolidation into the previous week's range. The indicators of the daily chart are still well negative for now as well as those of the weekly one that are still pointing toward lower levels. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead showing a mixed picture this morning while the dollar returned below the 200 hours line. Now short-term resistance at 108.38 and while below this line Future trend research favors a lower dollar yen. Follow possible updates of the company Future Trend Research. As regarding Euro dollar, Euro dollar uh, confirmed a weak closing on Friday uh, below Thursday's negative day reversal, suggesting this pair has a short term top and further weakness is still possible toward 114 and even 113.80 the weekly closing was instead positive. 
The indicators of the daily chart are still well positive for now and still above the short-term medium um, average line, but those of the moving average line, but those of the weekly one are instead still below the line but very close to it. The indicators of the short-term charts are also below the line this morning, suggesting further consolidation correction. The decline confirmed the test of the 200 hours line at 114.48, but there is some more room on the downside toward, one, toward the 114 area. However, we have already potential uh, positive reversals that could limit the downside. We wait for further confirmations. Euro Swiss, another Euro cross, as in the Euro Swiss uh, supports and resistances. Uh, here they are. Euro Swiss formed a negative day reversal on Friday after a quick overshooting of the 100 days line at 113.35. The drop is finding support at the 21 days line at 112.71. And while above this line on a daily closing, uh, future trend research expects a further test on the upside. The weekly closing was positive. Indicators of the daily chart are still above the line for now, but those of the weekly one remain negative and still below the short-term moving average line. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead showing a mixed picture. This morning, suggesting further consolidation correction with the 200 hours line at 112.54, the possible attraction. Stelling. Cable. Don't forget that this week is, could be quite volatile for the Stelling crosses because of the British Parliament voting on the Brexit deal. The cable formed a positive outside day on Friday. Uh, with now 128.8 to 127 the levels to follow in the coming hours. A while above the 55 days line at 127.73, the scenery will remain positive for the cable. The weekly closing was also strong, well above the top of the previous week. The indicators of the daily chart are still well positive for now, but those of the weekly one remain negative, but very close to the line. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead all in positive territory, supporting further strengths. Fresh bearish divergences are confirming a positive tone. We have to expect further strength. We suggest waiting for a decent correction to buy the cable. 128.70, 129.30 are resistances for the cable at the moment with supports at 128, 127.30. And finally, a few words about the dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss formed a small negative day reversal on Friday, but overall the dollar is still inside the positive outside day with 0.9865, 0.9705 still the levels to follow in the coming hours. The weekly closing was still negative, but well off the lows of the week. The indicators of the daily chart are still in negative territory for now, as well as those of the weekly one, suggesting further downside risk, but only weekly closing below 0.9792 will support lower levels. The indicators of the short-term charts are instead showing a mixed picture this morning, suggesting some consolidation. The rally above the 200 hours line on Friday formed small bearish divergences, but at the same time we have also potential negative reversals. We expect therefore a limited upside potential and the bullish divergences are much more clear than the bearish one. We stay on the sign line and advise you to follow the possible updates from Future Trend Research. The site of the company of Future Trend Research you can find in the description of this video. We thank you very much for all of your attention and take care and see you tomorrow the same time. Bye-bye for now.